Hello, hi. Hello, hi. Harry, um, I'm going to show you a little bit about the uh, Rigsmith Hi-Fi. I'm going to upload a lot more videos of this as time goes on, but this is just a preliminary of what it can do. It's um reverb and echo unit. It's a great piece of kit. I couldn't do what I do without it. Working with these Game Boys at the minute, there can be very dry sounds without it, but that's all I need to turn it into dub. Um, so just a quick example on the mic. Hello, 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 hello. Hi, 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 hi. That's straight into the echo, and it's you can. It's one of those ones you mess around with the delay going up and down. You get those some say um, you get those effects where it's going. <laughs> That's down, That's down, 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 down. Let's go, let's up. go, let's go. Up. Let's go up. Oh, oh, oh. Turn the feedback right up to above 100%, and you can go into a feedback loop, which is pretty fucking cool. So, hello. hello. Absolute classic. Um, you can go through the reverb into the into the echo as well. So this is you get hot. Oh, hear that spring. Not to mention it's got a spring for slapping. People love that, right? From the echo into the delay. Oi, oi. It's got different ranges. It's got different ranges on the Echo as well, so you can click from one, two, three, to four. One, two, three, four, I four different ranges. So I'm just gonna make sounds and click the range. So that's just some simple stuff with the voice. Um, I've got a little, just a synth I made in a couple of seconds on the Game Boy there. So that's the purely dry sound. But with the Rigsmith, it's great if you've got a dub siren or whatever, you can do all sorts. So we'll send a little bit of um, a little bit of that into the uh, reverb. It's already a bit more interesting. We can send that through to the delay too. Take two. We can send that through to delay two. Oi oi. Well, what sounds nice is using the, um, from the reverb into the delay, send it all the way through to the echo on max. It's, it's going to sound great, sometimes a little bit less, but. Lower, maybe. So sometimes I use two Game Boys, I can do that over the top of another tune. Um, what I'm going to show you now is how, just get a new cartridge on the scene. I'm going to show you how you can actually use it on a rhythm. Um, Yet yeah, again, pretty cool. Right, 
So with the Game Boy, you can pan left and right. Um, you've got two different channels. So I've sent the bass line through one, so I won't be doing too much dubbing with that. It's just the bass line and the hi-hat channel. Um, on the other channel, I've got the chords and the leads going through, and I'm just going to have a little. I'm going to play you a little bit of the song dry, and then I'm going to go back to the start and play you a, play around with the dubbing a little bit, just improvise. So this is why I bought this thing, man. Because Game Boys are great, but a bit of a dry sound, and I want to perform live. So I don't want to just have to put all my reverb, all of that sort of stuff, on in the studio. I want to be able to do it live at a gig. Um, I like to do studio songs where the things, the effects on it are actually done live, so great piece of kit, can't stress that enough. Right. Oi oi. oi, oi, oi. Rick Smith High Five. Oh. Sam Squanch. So this is the completely dry. I'm gonna right now. I'm gonna start bringing in a bit more wet reverb delay. So that's basically it for now. Um, I'll be making more videos once I've got more Game Boy songs together, dual Game Boys, and show you some proper live dubbing techniques with it, but that's just what i got so far. Promise Rig Smith a video as soon as possible, so it might seem a bit bare, but we're going to have more coming later. Um, thank you very much, Rig Smith Hi-Fi. That is a very important piece of kit for what I'm doing at the minute, um, not to mention the custom engraving. Otero, tokumoe. That's a different language. But yeah, custom engraving's great. And this piece, perfect. Um, I buy one, 200 quid, rigsmithhifi.co.uk. Peace. Oh, peace, peace.